I've never started a video like this, guys, actually at the end of the day, Chris. It is. Chris did ask me to actually do a cutting and start on this van first thing this morning, so the Peugeot expert, but straight away I got a call and I had to whip out and get some bits. We didn't proceed any further with this van because we was waiting for the most expensive bumper bar in the world to arrive. So we needed the bumper bar, Chris repaired those end caps, and he just wanted to make sure 100% that slotted on there and everything lined up perfect. And you was quite happy with it, clearly. Yeah, yeah, no worries. It wasn't it that hard, was it? It wasn't, no. They was just a little bit twisted up, but yeah. then you proved in the previous video they are only tin. That's right. So Chris straightened those up, got uh, flattened them all off, got a bit of X primer on there, a bit of normal primer, and now it is the end of the day. I'm just about to leave. We've only got one mask. Chris is going to paint those end caps white, and then we can continue on. So we'll be back in the morning. So that's the next day, and they're all done, guys, all nice and dry. So let's get it unmasked. They look perfect, Chris, don't they? They come out very, very nice, and no one's ever going to know. Right, let's get that masking paper off. So number one rule, guys, never, ever throw anything away. You can see Chris is taking the old rad apart there and then placing the bit straight onto the new one, building up that rad pack. On goes the front bumper bar, which fits lovely. Chris got both of those caps absolutely perfect. Moving straight on, aircon pipes. Again, very expensive. I got both of them off eBay, but he's got them fitted and it's all done. So a lot done there and, of course... Nice that it's quite fresh in our minds because it was only recently we stripped this one down. The one bit that wasn't mentioned was the alternator. You can see now that has actually been replaced and quite a lot of you in the comments did say, be careful, they cost a lot of money. And straight away we looked online and they was between six and eight hundred pounds, wasn't they? We managed to get that in Spain and it come to about 280 with the import duty, we've put it on and the battery light's gone straight out. Chris, you see in the time lapse, cracked on, just building it up, putting all these little bits back on. I'm now gonna pop out to the breaker's yard because the last part I actually realized was missing was that rad hose. But you can see, started building up the radiator there, just getting it all ready, slowly, slowly, putting it all back together. That's, that's what it's gonna be, isn't it? We'll let you continue on, mate, and I'll go and try and get you a new rad hose. I've had to speed this up quite a bit, guys, because it was very, very long, and it is the front panel process of swapping everything over. It really does take quite some time to do. And in with the radiators, Chris is getting them all plumbed up, the pipes, aircon pipes, and then he puts on there the new front panel, and it lines up lovely onto the front bumper. Hard going in this heat, mate. Yeah, it's quite warm. But... It, it's very warm, isn't it? Got tin roof. I'm outside just doing something. And Chris, as you can see, is cracked on in here. Now, this is probably something that never gets mentioned in the videos, and we're going to mention it today. As you can see, Chris is going through the whole process there of building this up. Ultimately, it's all got to come apart again to be built back up again. It is, it's going to need paint, but you need to put it all together to make sure it all lines up, mate, right? That's make sure right. it's all yeah. correct. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the rad can stay in it. Um, intercooler will stay on. But front panel, grill that I was building up there on time lapse. Yeah, see that, that. That's just purely for the purpose of making sure it all fits with the headlights, lines up. In case something on these flitches needs a bit of tweaking. I don't think it does. No. Nah. Because that front panel was plopped on there. Fine, so gone but, straight on on its own. It's silly not to just do a dry run. Oh, definitely. And and also it highlights any little bits, clips, things that are missing. Well, you already noticed a little duct. That yeah. To get so stuff. we just make a list of them, and then hopefully once it's back from paint, we got everything. Yeah, it's straightforward fit up. But you you ain't had to tweak nothing. You ain't come across anything. It's all lining up exactly where it should yeah, be. Yeah, we know that that wing, that side's got some damage on it. Yes. So um, in there, and you think this is just tweaked out a bit. You can see if you shut the bonnet, Rob. If you just pull that, you'll see. Yeah. So and that dent is only caused by the fact that that headlight has pushed that that's wing it. out. Yeah. So once you pull that wing back round, a lot of a bit that of pull, should pop pull out. and push at the same time. Yeah. And that should... Um, go on, mate. Down you go. That's it. And new wing this side. 
So I'm going to repair on that door. Oh yeah, that's but quite. I'm not worrying about the door at the moment. This is just get the wing on so that we can put the headlight, bumper, grill, and make sure, uh, as I say, all that lines up. It's coming along quite nicely, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, no dramas. You're about to do some headlight lug repairs, aren't you? Headlight well, lug I'm repairs. just going to mention in this video, Chris, only because I don't know when people are going to watch this, but the last video, the Mercedes in particular, someone said, cool, good luck, the bits are going to be dear on that. Would you agree with me that the bits for this car are twice the price of Mercedes? Yeah, spiteful, aren't This they? has been very, very expensive. It's all down to availability, though, isn't it? It is, absolutely. But, I mean, that, that, that grill to buy from the dealer comes as a skeleton, and it was about 380 quid, and it's just all the bits that you've got to buy that go inside it. Guys, I'm going to leave you with Chris. I've got to pop out and get a tyre, and he's going to crack on fitting this up. As you can see, the front wing's going on there and everything seems to be lining up lovely. Just taking some bits off the old wing there, like a clamp. In with the headlights and it's really starting to come together now. Chris done this headlight repair. He also put this out on Instagram, Salvage Rebuilds Chris, if you want to see that. And in with that headlight that he's just repaired. Again, we'll get into the numbers, but the lug kits for this were extortionate. He's got the front bumper out there ready, just putting a few trims in. There is lots of little parts to this front end on this van. He got cracking there, guys, didn't he, in the background? Got it all pieced together. Like we said previously, this is purely to line everything up. All of this has got to come off again to be painted. Well, I say it's got to come off the wing, front grille has, and obviously there's some repairs to do to the bonnet. What I will say about this, since the last cut-in, I have ordered the last few parts for this van and the parts, the prices for the parts on these vans, I think will definitely be laying off doing one of these until they become a little bit older because the bits on it are so, so expensive. The lug kits, you know we buy those. I mean, it'll all be in the numbers anyway. But if you was buying them for say at 500, they're 15 pound for both sides, seven pound 50 a side for a set. The um, ones that we just done for the Audi, they was like £13 a side. Do you know these headlight lug repair kits, I think, was 60-odd quid for the passenger side headlight and then 50-odd pounds for the driver side headlight, which is crazy. It is an extortionate amount. I think they've now cottoned on to people are repairing them, so they've put the price of these parts up. But everything, airbox and a couple of pieces of plastic, like £400-odd pound, it is just so so expensive anyway like i said it'll be in the numbers he's got it that far really really happy with it chris just said rob get that cutting done i want to crack on and get the bodywork done since the last bit you can see that he's pulled that wing round and it was that dent in there was where that wing had actually bent round here and of course it had to go somewhere and it dented in he's pulled that round and got that about right that is ready for a small skim of filler then he's taped the door shut this side to stop us opening it, obviously, because there's a new wing there. He is going to do the edge of that door as well. And then you've got that little bit on the bonnet. Apart from that, I think that is the only bodywork. And he really wants to crack on with it so we can get it out of the paint shop. So let's get on. I'm taking the bonnet off there. I'm just about to pop out and Chris is going to make a start on that bodywork. So you can see he's banging around there with his panorama, getting the door right. Knocking it back there with a DA and the finger grinder. And then he's going to move straight onto the spot welder there and pull out all of the little uh, low spots in it and get it as best he can. Straight in with a filler. Moving along very nicely there, guys. And look at that bonnet already. Chris said he's only had a little tweak, a little play with that. And he's actually got that big... It sort of stepped down, didn't it? He's managed to get that straight. And I said, did you film it? And he said, look at the tripod. He had it filming this way and he had his back to it. So you couldn't see it. The stickers, again, very, very easy to get off. They was compared to the transit because they was big stickers with writing over the top. So he's got a little bit more work left to do on that. And that's definitely going to be saved that bonnet, which is saving a few quid. Because judging by the weight of it, is it Ali? I think it is. It's got to be, hasn't it? Sorry, when you went off on the phone there, I said you actually had your back to that bit when you was doing that, so we won't show that. Um, door, 
absolutely perfect little bit of filler i'm going to repeat this and i know i sound repetitive when i do say it looks like a lot guys wait till chris has actually knocked that down then i'm going to do another cutting and show you just how much is not in there you just have to put quite a bit in there once it's rubbed down it'll be quite transparent in places that wing we know is okay because that's a pattern one that we've we've bought and there's no damage on it and then round this side I wasn't actually expecting that, I must admit. I thought it was just that there. But Chris has actually found one there, one there, little ding down there, mark here. And there's even another one he just noticed back here that he hasn't actually marked, um, drawn round yet. But he said he wants to get them all done because this wing is going to be blended into this door. And of course, this door has got a couple of chins on it. So you're getting there with it, really is getting there with it. And fingers crossed, I think we'll have should get the body work done in this one mate shouldn't we yeah. i'll say we lightly because i won't be doing it will i but we're going to let chris continue on and get that all done right in with a filler flatten off the passenger side front wing loads of little dents showed up once he did flat it off that you couldn't actually see until the paint was removed and on to the bonnet i still can't believe chris saved this bonnet it was really, really bent. And when you put it on there, you could get your hand in underneath it. But as usual, he saved the day there. So cracking on there. And Chris has got that bonnet bang on and saved it. But he does keep finding more little dents the longer he goes along. And he said it's got to be right. So he was concentrating on this area that he's completely fit, uh, straightened out. Just knocking it back ready for a skim of filler. And then he, you will see, he rubbed his hands over it and he actually found another low spot right here, a bit of a dent. So he's knocked that back as well. Chris is going to take a break now and eat his lunch. And I thought, save making a whole video of it next time as well. Why he's doing that, I am going to crack on and actually de-stick of this. That light bulb is one great big sticker. Now, I think they'll all come off okay because the bonnet ones did come off okay. But if you are going to find a problem, you want to find it, obviously, before it goes off for paint anyway. So let's crack on and actually get them removed. We'll start with that. I think it's going to be quite satisfying. While Chris is just out talking to a builder, I decided to take these stickers off. I knew it'd be a little while, and this one was actually a lot easier to do than the Transit, where they was whole, complete stickers and not just individuals. Oh, guys, them stickers come off. This van's lovely. It looks so different now they're removed and all of it come off. It just shows you they've not been on there but for a long, long time because the van's reasonably late. There is still some residue, but of course we can't polish it because it's got to have paint. But all of it is gone. Look how lovely that looks. So much better. And there's no digs, no scratches, no paint missing anywhere. It is all absolutely fine. Chris has got the filler in that front wing now. I'm ready to start knocking that back. And then move on to the bonnet. So far, so good. I don't think this one's going to take too much longer. Let's crack on. Cleaning up the bonnet there and ready for its first skimmer filler. You can see the driver's side door's all done now. straight on to knocking down that filler. Nice, actually come out really nice that door and the bonnet there, all flatted off. I think Chris didn't, he only had to give that bonnet one skim and got it right the first time. Moving on to the driver's side front wing, flatten that off, all of the little dents. And of course, that's come out absolutely perfect as well. I think this is the last panel Chris is gonna be prepping there. Well, just before we uh, do start, mate, have you got your mic on? I have, yeah. Is it on? That was some, I bet that was some hard yeah. going in this heat, wasn't it? It is seriously, yeah. seriously. It's on, isn't it? Yeah. That is seriously hot today. You it must is be all, all under a tin roof, tin isn't roof, it? Tin roof, yeah, we do say that, but he's there with it, guys. Got the filler all knocked back, and this is... All done, I think. All the body work. It is Chris, isn't it? Yeah, we've got to put it outside, clean down, and then bring it back in, mask up, and put some primer on it. Put some primer on it, and then it can go off to the paint shop, can't yeah. it? 
I've still got to do that airbag kit. I don't know about doing it in this heat. I see you've uh, done that little repair there as well, so this yeah. wing is going to blend into that door. But overall, I think that's been it's been a nice job to do, hasn't it? It's just so expensive on them parts. I'm going to say it again. It is yeah. crazy the price of the parts for this. It is genuinely twice the price of Mercedes parts. We'll let Chris get this outside. He's not going to video blowing it off with the airline and then he's going to get that mast up and get some primer on it, get it ready to go over the paint shop. Straight on to the tack cloth, bit of cleaner, one rag to wipe on the panel wipe, one rag to wipe it off. A lot of people make the mistake with one rag and you end up contaminating it. So on with all the primer, all the way around the whole van. He's cracked it guys, all done, all primered, you could see there. And already this morning, put a bit of guide coat over the top. I'm going to mention it just because people do always ask, what is the guide coat for? And when you're rubbing it down, that will highlight. So say there's a low spot here, and then you start rubbing that down, that low spot is going to stay black with those dots in it. So that is ultimately what a guide coat is for. Round to the other side. Front wing, all completely done. Again, guide coated and the repairs there as well. The bit that is surprising is, it's not surprising, Chris always does his best, but that bonnet was quite out of shape, guys, wasn't it? And he managed to get that absolutely perfect. And that come out lovely as well. And there's a bit of a clue here, if you haven't seen the video already, there's something missing out the, out the spray booth here. So that's just gonna want a bit of guy coat on it and flatten off, and I think that is it. It is going to be ready for the paint shop. We are sitting here, I'm in an R in, whether it's going to be airbag kit before it goes or airbag kit when it comes back. So really, I want to get Liam to cut the windscreen out and do it like we did in the Audi A1 because it just showed so much more. It was so much more up close filming it from the side and through the windscreen as well. So Chris did just say he wants to put his unmasses put it outside, we've got a lovely bit of weather, and wait for this uh, primer to go rock hard, and then he'll flat it off, and it'll be ready to go off to the paint shop, obviously, or the airbag kit, whatever one comes first, guys. Nice to see it finally like this, guys, and I've just watched the video back. I can't, I can't, I blank, moaned about the price, I couldn't get my words out there. All the way through the video, I've moaned about the price of the bits for this van. So it's so nice to see it at this stage and know that apart from the paintwork and a windscreen, we haven't got to actually spend any more money on it. It has been a nightmare to get second-hand parts for this van. And I was what I said earlier in the video, we probably won't do another one of these until they become a bit more current. 69 Reg, I think it come out 2016 but the parts that are available are very, very expensive. So, it's now re it's gonna be ready to go to the paint shop. That is the end of today's video. As usual, we do hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so for more content like this and various other cars. We are cutting this one a little bit, well, it's not a little bit short. It's, it's a nice, normal length video. But we've just got a new project to arrive and we want to crack straight on with that, guys. So like, subscribe, share. Follow us on Instagram, Salvage Rebuilds. Follow Chris on his personal at Salvage Rebuilds, Chris. And we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.